All right, topic number four. This is this topic came uh, because this past Friday we went and saw the new Disney Little Mermaid movie. Mm-hmm. Now, before we start this topic, we're going to be given a review or, or our real thoughts on the Little Mermaid movie. We, I, it's sad that you have to do this, but you have to do this. We have to give a disclaimer. I have zero issues with the race of Ariel. Oh, yeah, me too. Like, that was never an issue for no. me. I never gave two fucks about what race Ariel was. I'm not somebody. I had a problem with her hair color. Thought it should have been more red. After seeing the movie, that didn't bother me as much. Uh, but let, let's talk about the movie. Okay. I'll jump in. I, I have some points written down. You can kind of piggyback off of what I say. I think probably uh, I think you have a lot of the same thoughts as me. Thought number one. I had no problem with Ariel being a different race. No, that didn't bother. But Halle Berry was bad. I always, when you say Halle Berry, I, I know, think of Halle Berry. And every time I search for it, it comes up Halle Berry. Halle Berry. But her name is Halle Berry. Yeah, that's crazy. She was bad. Or Hall, is it Halle Berry or Halle Bailey? I think it's Halle Bailey. Bailey, that's Bailey. what it is. And I keep yeah. saying Berry. It's Bailey. Halle Bailey yeah. was bad. She was a bad Ariel. Her acting was bad. She's a bad actress. Great singer. Very, oh, so I have the second point I made was her singing was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like unmatchable. Mm-hmm. Her, her, but her acting was lifeless. True. The so, one thing that I walked out of that movie saying was, number one, she had a very limited amount of lines. There was like no lines. Yeah, they really like- did not let her talk very much for a movie yeah. where Ariel had personality and had a lot to say and was a little bit aloof and had a per- like just character. Mm-hmm. This this girl had no character. She had no her facial expression was just one. It was one face yeah. beats all. Yeah. The entire time she had the same facial expression, whether she was supposed to be surprised, angry, sad, mad, happy, she looked the same. Mm-hmm. When she sang, a whole different story. Oh. All the emotion came out. She's yeah. she's a singer. Yeah, she's definitely. not. A, she's definitely not a great actress. Now, one thing I will say is I think that anybody who took that role was up against an impossible job. The, the fact that you're number one, you have to act like you're underwater for for about three quarters of this movie. But I think you needed to have a very animated face. Exactly. Though. I think to make up like for the fact animated to make you know? up for the fact that it was such an awkward position to be in underwater and like their shoulders constantly moving. Yeah. I think that you would have to your facial expressions would have to be like almost over the top. Yeah. over so. And hers were just I wouldn't. I, I think I used the word so was terrible. It, Horrible. I don't think she was horrible. There's definitely I, so people who could have been worse. We have to make it a point. Little Mermaid is my favorite. Yeah, well, it's a lot of, like, of people's all favorite. time. And and I will say, based on like going to this movie and leaving this movie, I left happy. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. The story is the story. There's a few little I changes. I would want to watch it again because the first time watching it, like I had a certain expectation, right? Like I want my Disney movie remakes to be like the animated movie. Now I could just be like one of a million, but like yeah, no, I get you. I didn't love the Prince Eric song. No, so I have one here too that the the new songs were pointless. Except, for Except the so there's one new song called Scuttlebug. Scuttlebug was a shit. That was performed by Aquafina. That was phenomenal. But mm-hmm. but the other two songs were just added because. It's like Disney's trying to win some awards or something, yeah. right? They need to add more music to the movie. I also have on here, the movie had, it was one of the, the highest roller coaster type movies to me. There were high highs mm-hmm. where this movie hit on everything it needed to hit, especially when Sebastian and Scuttle were on scene. A lot of times the movie was extremely good. Oh, it was yeah, funny. They were funny. I'm saying, so this, this movie hit some real high highs, but it was just, it was plagued by the amount of just low lows where i caught myself almost almost closing my eyes and and not even going to sleep but just going i'll wait till i recognize the next like upbeat part of the movie another thing it was a very dark movie for a movie that like prides itself on being so colorful i i felt like they were trying this thing that i picked up on was that ariel tends to be a little bit of a depressed character when she's underwater Mm-hmm. And so it's almost like they brought the colors down, but it, it turned it into a very dark movie at times. Yeah. The, the, just the entire theater was dark and, and it, it made some of the scenes awkwardly 
just well so the thing that was weird to me and i don't know if you're talking uh-huh. about this in a minute is that like at points it felt like it just wanted to be realistic but then there were like magical elements to it exactly. and then like I, I agree she's gonna swim with eric but she's putting him underwater like he's gonna drown i agree i agree I mean, there, there were like there, there was no cohesiveness through the movie at, at times it wanted to be this is a real telling of the Little Mermaid, and then at times it was like, "Hey, something magical just happened in a world where there's never been magic, and nobody's freaked the fuck out." Yeah, and I would have been cool if they went more magical because then, like the underwater scene, like the, the little fish could have played like, the flute and, and stuff like, like that. They allude at the beginning to this idea that like mermaids are just fairy tale, mm-hmm. and then when like four hundred mermaids show up, they're all just okay. Mm. Like there would be a little nervousness, I feel like, between yeah. the two, uh, the, the two different groups of people. The it other thing I have crazy. written here is, to me, my ultimate takeaway from this movie: mm-hmm. this was a Disney Channel movie. Yeah, this had all of the beats of like The Descendants. I could see that in movies that are. It had like okay acting, a lot of poor CGI. Flounder was gross and completely irrelevant yeah for somebody who played such a huge part in the first movie he was almost didn't even need to exist in this movie yeah he was one of my favorite characters in the first movie Mm -hmm. right and in this movie he just he served no per absolutely no purpose now i wrote down i think that a better movie they could have made would have been a retelling of this story from Sebastian. If Sebastian was the main character of this movie yeah, and they built the entire story around him uh-huh. and, and the kind of plight that he takes to keep Ariel out of trouble. Yeah. A buddy movie between Sebastian oh. and Scuttles would have been a fun twist on a cool. story that we know because those two characters were de- like Scuttle Aquafina was amazing. Yeah. Whoever played Sebastian mm-hmm. was extremely good. I mean, I remember their parts the most, I think, from the movie. So. King Triton, I thought was terrible. Mm-hmm. I thought Ariel was forgettable. I don't think she, I think her singing phenomenal. Great. Yeah. I, I listen mm-hmm. to the songs and I go, oh man, she killed the songs but from an acting standpoint not that good prince eric they they kind of turned him into a little bit of a bitch why do you have to be adopted for so it? so that was the other thing i have on here they made a lot of changes in this movie for no apparent reason other than i think just so they could make a change it was eric being adopted yeah it was ursula being the king's sister yes which I thought was a weird. I didn't know. Once again, I don't understand how that works. How is she an octopus or kraken or whatever she is? He's a mermaid. Yeah. What like how does that work? How what what is the biology in, in I getting? Know. I guess I guess you're not supposed to use common their, sense when their watching. Their dad was a mermaid and their mom was an octopus. I guess, but they never allude to that. Don't they always allude? Or maybe that, they have different moms. But don't they always allude that the mom died because she went to the surface as a mermaid? Not as a squid. I don't know. Yeah, I, she I was a mermaid. Like, yeah, she was a mermaid. Like they never allude to the fact that the mom was a different species. So, how, no, no, no. Oh, wait, I'm okay. So that wouldn't King be Triton's that wouldn't mom. be Ariel's mom. That would be King Triton. Yeah, that still yeah. doesn't make sense. Maybe the dad was a mermaid and like they had different moms. That doesn't make sense. It no. still doesn't make sense to me. Uh-huh. And then the, this new twist that they added, where every time someone tells Ariel she needs to get Prince Eric to kiss him. She forgets. She forgets immediately. What was that? Like, I don't know. I don't watch the first movie and think like that was a problem in the plot. No, it was what made it fun is that she knew what was going on. And so she was kind of in on it. I I think they made a a big deal about changing the words to kiss the girl. I agree. It was absolutely a stupid change and it really doesn't change the meaning of the song at all. No, it's almost just a buffer for like wokeness. Yeah, but it was it was a stupid change and it wasn't it wasn't that like if you weren't really paying attention, you'd have missed it. Mm-mm. That was one You of had to kind of lock actually. in and, and look for it. Uh, they took out a couple songs. Uh, they took out Le Paso, Le Paso. That was a banger. I know. I don't I don't understand that not being in and the movie. Left it out. Yeah, you take that out and then they add it in. Weirdly enough, and I don't want to spoil the movie, but most of the people who listen to us are probably not. No, they're probably not going to watch Little Mermaid. If they see it, they they really don't care. Well, one thing that bothered me was the whole part where she was singing inside of her head. 
Oh, yes, but then, like, she opened up her mouth at one point when yeah. she was supposed to not speak. Not and be I'm able like, to talk, but she's, it was, there were weird things that just did, like, there were so many inconsistencies in this movie, and I know the movie's, it's doing well, I'm glad it's doing well, yeah. I didn't want it to do bad, no. I don't have any real problems other than I just, it, it's not a great I, movie. I would watch it again, uh-huh. because... I would then kind of enjoy it a little bit differently, if that makes well, it's sense. It's a Little Mermaid. That's what it is. I love a Little Mermaid, and it is it is a Little Mermaid. It's not better, but but then if I look at all the other remakes of Disney movies, I don't think none there's of them one are remake that I like better the than Lion the original. King was not better. Nope. Um, Aladdin was so good. Aladdin I liked was Aladdin. Probably the best of the live like remakes, <laughs> but of, it wasn't better. No. It definitely wasn't better because I still felt like it was a different story because they uh-huh. added all that extra stuff and whatever. Yeah, I agree. I haven't seen. Uh, some of the other ones I haven't seen. Peter I haven't Pan. seen Beauty and the Beast. I've wanted to. I, I haven't just seen haven't. Beauty and the Beast. I haven't seen Dumbo. Dumbo was. I, I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. It was Pinocchio just like super out scary. or Pinocchio is coming out. I think it's out, and so I, I want to see it. But you know, we'll yeah. see. So, I mean, my my overall opinion is that it, it's it. It wasn't as like you know they they tried to make it sound they like could it have was done it better. Be, yeah. Oh yeah. It could. It, it was a Disney Channel movie that made it to the theaters, mm-hmm. and that's that's what it was. Yeah. Step in the ring, if you ready, let's go hey, hey. Casual wrestling community show You already know, talking WWE Keep it rolling and hosted by Notorious Nerdy D hey. Don't be sure that you gon' find Tune in cause it's online Hit him with a figure four leg lock pile driver or clothesline We bringing that heat like the show But you should already know The casual wrestling community show